Yes, your good friend here again, Errol. So let me tell you about a word that I think a lot of you may be extremely familiar with, and it's a word called influencer. Now, now an influencer generally, and I think maybe we need to be very much aware, we need to be very much aware of when we understanding that we're listening to people. See, today in today's society, there are many influencers. Your young people, um, your, your, your sons and your daughter may look up to them. Your, your, even you yourself may look up to them, but, and they're called influencers. They're paid to influence the community. They're paid to travel at expensive uh, areas. Um, you may say, and usually these are young people, uh, young could be young girls or young men. Uh, they are hired by company and they travel the globe, they travel the world. I've driven many of them many times. And they would go to different places in, in shopping and show the, the beauty of life. Um, they are influencers. Now, many of these people are followed. They usually have extremely large, large social media following. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm consistently warning, warning the community that, you know, I have not met any one of them who are evil, are in, in that sense, but let me happen to know that, you know, I, I want to make sure that I say this carefully, that you and I have to become influencer of the gospel. You see, why I say it about the influencer, because a lot of these people hire these individuals or pay them, and they travel the world, uh, change four or five times per day in different outfit, different um, glamorous look, different trend. I got to say to you also, when Lady Diana was alive, um, our Princess Diana, I should say, you notice whatever fashion she wore, whatever the hat she wore became the thing of the fashion designer. That was one of the things that it was. It, the fashion designer was always very much, they sent out the message in the, that area when it comes on to the fashion designer. And whatever they put out, it doesn't matter the brand, someone wearing it, someone endorsing it, and everything. That's kind of how the trend go. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to say to you that it's so important that you and I become aware, become so aware that we as people who stand for Christ, this is the reason why I boldly declare or de declare the name of Jesus Christ. I boldly stand. It's, I cannot tell you how many people that I'm around each and every day and you know it is amazing when you and I are not ashamed of the gospel uh, 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 there's a bishop um, uh, colleague of mine and he would say to me every now and then oh, God bless you so much bishop he would say to me God put you there for a reason and I know for sure that I if it's one or two individuals that I could share the word of the almighty God to so when I say to you you and I need to become more stronger to, to, to not be so willing to hear the negative of the, or the takedown of an individual in ministry, but to help to support, to back up. If you and I follow the reading of Paul and how Paul addressed his, 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 his followers or his disciples, my good heavens. No, we, everybody has different bodies uh, and different uh, congregations, as I would say. But let me say this to you. They work together in unity. And, uh, you know, you could always wonder. Here is some, a word I'm going to loan you. Um, um, there was a time in, in, the, in, there was a time in the, the, good, the good word. There was a time that you would hear it mentioned. That what you'd hear it mentioned, it would say... Um, um, there, there was on one accord. Now the word one accord means that they were completely together in their thinking, in their understanding, in the way that they thought. But then there was a time also when there was a force. It was forced to stop. And this was on the, 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 the Mount of Transfiguration when they had also twist their mind, let them not um, understood together. So on the day of Pentecost, one accord. Uh, one accord. There was all. There was on one accord. But 
the, the non day of Pentecost, when the transfiguration, that was when, again, the mind had us to be confused because they, what they were going to do was not, it wasn't going to be in, 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 in order. It wasn't going to be in, 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 and that's why the confusion took place. All right. And, you know, but you could understand. So I'm saying this to you. Let us help to build up, not to tear down. When we hear the negative news of, of the things, let's not so willing to support, but willing to, 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 to humble ourselves and pray about it. Let's not be willing to, 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 to cut down. Let's not be willing to say um, guilty. <laughs> let's not be so willing to do that. Let's not be so willing to, to accept everything, every negative things that we hear. Let's not be so willing to do that. Let's not be so willing to say, I told you so. This was going to be the results of them. Let's not be so willing to accept those negative terms. But let's be willing to see what we could do. You might hear that someone, something happened to XYZ. Instead of agreeing. Why not pick up the phone and call and say, is everything okay? You know, it is, it, it, like I said before, let's not just stay off and stand off. Let's not just do that. I, I feel it deep in my heart that, you know, we need to, to really, truly develop brotherhood. It kind of seems to me as... It kind of seems to me that everything else, including whether it's, it kind of seems to me that everything else created, a, create a brotherhood. Even things that those words should not even mention. Okay? Some of the bikers, you know, some of the bikers, you could see they have symbols and where they, they create, they're, they're together, the togetherness, they, they, they run together, they, 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 they do things together. They, they are together. These are some of the bikers. I won't call any names for names sake. They won't do that. They, they, they together. Some organization has nothing, nothing to do in that relationship. There has absolutely nothing. Some of those organizations, but they create the, 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 the relationship. They create the, 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 the good, um, the good foundation, they create that because they want to, they're building up, not tearing down. You understand me? They're building up. And it, it would be so nice it, it, when people, look, I don't believe that you and I as individuals, as those who read it, we should not, it shouldn't be because we are able to score a scripture is that because we can do that that someone should recognize that there are brotherhood or sisterhood you know what I'm talking about because if you listen to the way that Paul address any of the whether he was addressing one to the other you heard the word we are together in this we are doing it together we are bound we are bound in this so if one of us are cutting down the other we are tearing down what Paul and Peter and all of them have already done. Remember, the day of Pentecost, that was when everything started to put into place. These are the guys who set the foundation. So if we are not building it up, then we are tearing it down. If we're not supporting it in a strong way, but we are the, the, the we are a part of the voice of the negative, can't do that. And I this is has been on me. And when I look and I see and I hear every second news is is the negative of the you cannot tell me that well yes.